Hello, Armored Pants here, World of Tank Blitz, and I have a new video for you. This one is the first tank in the British line, the UK line. It's the Cruiser 2, and it's a complete guide. We're going to look at the tech spec, and as always, we're going to look at it at blitzhanger.com, which is a fantastic asset for any Blitz player. I recommend you go there. Now, the Cruiser 2 is the first tank in the British uh, line. It is a light tank, and it is is an unusual tank to start off with for one particular reason it has a magazine so in other words you have two shells in the magazine that fire one after the other very quickly but they take longer to reload so it's a different slightly different play style it has advantages and disadvantages and um, their auto loader as it's called is a di kind of different play style as I just said um, but one tip I'm going to give you here, which many players, even experienced players in Blitz, don't know, is that when the ammo selector is open, if you double tap it, you get a full reload. So in other words, if you fired one shell and you want to fully reload because you're going to go into combat against another tank, a lot of inexperienced players would just fire it off the second round and waste that shell. But if you open your ammo selector and double tap on the shell, it will automatically reload so try that when you're playing with this tank it'd be a great tip save you a lot of ammunition save you a lot of time now um we are going to load this tank out as we would load uh, most light medium tanks here we are going to use um supercharge and we're going to use a uh, refiled gun we're going to use um improved construction so that we actually have additional um uh, uh, armor uh, so that's going to bounce some more shots for us because the armor profile in this tank is pretty decent and as always um, in the lower tiers we're only going to use the first seven pieces of equipment we don't need the last two because they're really only when you have um, more equipment uh, loaded out on the tank such as adrenaline etc now this tank also has 15 gun degrees of gun depression 20 degrees of elevation the 15 degrees of gun depression um, is a great asset to this tank why because it allows you to fire over hills only exposing your turret and your turret is the least vulnerable part of the tank the tank is also fast as 35 kilometers in a straight line 15 in a back line uh, backwards now here is the armor profile of the tank what we're looking for here is red and orange and as you can see when the tank is angled you will get a lot of orange and um, the back of the tank on the turret is also pretty strongly orange there um, but the rest of the tank at the back is pretty vulnerable and you will get penned but as we always said you need to keep the front of your tank facing forward because that is the least vulnerable part of your tank as you can see here we got some red and orange going on the purple of the gun mantle is impenetrable so shells can't go through that tactics let's not worry about the tactics too much because uh, this is just a tier one so what we really want to do is get the basic mechanics of gameplay going let's not worry about these different tactics and um, what we should concentrate on is the fact that it has an auto loader and what is the significance of this well it means that um, you're going to do about 60 damage per uh, clip that you fire per magazine which is about 30 per shell which is significantly more than the single shot you're going to get from tanks in the same tier that you're facing which is going to be around 30 so you can do twice as much damage um, in the same amount of time but you take much longer to reload so therefore if you're going um, to face off against another tank and he has less than 50 less than 50 hit points or less than 60 hit points if you reload your uh, clip completely then you can finish him off while he only gets one shot into you and this is something uh, very interesting now you're also going to see something very significant in this game you're going to see uh, a resin heroes medal which is basically when you kill all seven tanks um, it's also called a Raz and it comes from the historical reference is to the town of Razin A which is a Lithuanian town where a gun KV-2 held off a whole load of German tanks. Now this is something that all tankers want but as I just said there the best way to get this medal is to not try for it because if you try for it you will fail miserably. Um, so uh, what we're going to do here is just uh, I just thought I'd leave this in here because I'm just going to show you just to increase training there so just go back and have a look at that. Now here we're going to use XB to upgrade our tank because we want to get to the top gun and now we have used XP and we have upgraded the tank and then we're going to load up the ammunition but if you don't have XP you can always use gold if you really want to and um, if you have got it to spare if not play some games get some XP etc now we're going to load out the equipment as I suggested and uh, using only the first seven 
um, and we are going to use, as I said, um, the refoil gun and supercharge. Now you can play without equipment, but as I say, um, you should always play with as much equipment as you can, especially for the tank that you're learning in, because it gives you a significant advantage over players who do not have equipment. Now, uh, we're going to go into the game now, uh, straight away, this is my first game in the, this tank, in this account. Now, um, as I said, you're going to see something special here, you're going to see me killing all seven of the enemy tanks. Now, I said to you earlier, the best way to do this uh, is to not try to do it, which seems like a bit of an oxymoron, it doesn't really seem to make sense. But what I mean by that is, if you try to, if you set out to kill all seven enemy tanks, you are going to fail and probably get killed. The best way to get this resonate medal, to get a Raz, is to not play for it, but is to play using common sense, using basic skills and tactics. And if you play well, then eventually it will come and you'll get all seven kills. Now, what, what do we mean by basic skills and tactics? Well, I'm going to show you those in this game. So I am moving up here into this position, so I'm going to try to spot the enemy. Now that this enemy is spotted, I am going to carefully put my shots into him. As we always say, aiming is maiming. Don't rush your shots. Take your time, let your target settle into the middle of the enemy and make sure that when you fire, you do damage. Now you're going to see the advantage of the 15 degrees of gun depression. It means I can pop up here, only show my turret and I can put two rounds into him. If I didn't have that gun depression, I would not be able to do that. That's why it's important to take note of the technical specifications of your tank before you go out and use it. Now, I am using the wall and the hill to my left as cover. And I'm using this hill to make sure that I am not too much exposed. And I'm going to try to put some shots into the enemy. Now, here's another golden rule. Do not let the enemy come behind you because that is the most vulnerable part of your tank. If there is an enemy behind you, you have to address that situation. So that's why I always try to uh, fire onto an enemy that comes behind. Again, you see my magazine is reloaded. I am now going to come around and I'm going to use again the good gun depression to pop my uh, nose over this hill. Put a couple of rounds in here. One, two, Oh, missed. Um, now I have to reload and I know I'm vulnerable so I need to move. Again, another golden rule from um, playing this game is to constantly move. Do not sit still. When you sit still, um, you are most vulnerable and you make yourself a very, very easy target for the enemy. Now I'm coming up here again and I'm now, you see, I have my front to him and he has his back to me. This is giving me a significant advantage because when um, I have my toughest part of my armor facing him and he has the weakest part of his armor facing me. So if you're in a brawl situation as I am with this guy, uh, and brawling is when you're face to face with an enemy, make sure that your front is facing the enemy. Do not have your side or back facing them. See what I'm doing here? This enemy is coming onto me. So I maneuvered to get myself, uh, having my front facing him. Um, and then now I got another kill here, two rounds. Again, this is what I meant about the auto loader. If I had only one shell there, I wouldn't have been able to get that kill. But the fact that um, when I'm fully loaded, I have the auto loader allows me to get that kill uh, by firing off two rounds very quickly. Again, um, we have the same thing here. Again, without the auto loader, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And this way, it says it's a slightly different um, a game style to when you just have a single shot. It takes a little bit longer to reload, but then once you um, uh, have that um, uh, two shells loaded, you're ready to go and ready to do a lot of damage. Now you can see I've done a significant amount of damage, I've already killed three of the seven enemy tanks. Again I'm in cover while I'm reloading, again another golden rule of being successful in this game is only expose yourself when you're shooting. Do not sit out in the open when you're reloading, because when you're reloading, you can't do any damage to the enemy. You're basically kind of inactive in, the, in that respect. So do not um, uh, expose yourself. Uh, only pop out to shoot. Now, uh, this tank has strong frontal armor, so I was able to ram him. You don't always need shells to kill the enemy. If you can do a nice ram, and I'm going to ram here him again, uh, you can do additional damage. Um, which all counts towards um, your um, doing damage to the enemy, but also counts towards the XP that you get in the game. Now there is one tank left. Now I know that I've killed all six, and I would really like to get the seventh kill. So I'm going to go looking for this seventh guy. Um, I still have quite a bit of uh, hit points in my pool, so I decided that I 
pretty com pretty confident that I can take this other guy out. He's probably been hiding for the rest of the game, so now he's probably not such an experienced player. He's probably going to panic too if I come straight onto him. Now, I spoke about ramming there, so when we're looking for this last red guy, let me talk to you a bit about ramming. Um, try not to ram at the start of the game because you give away your, some of your own XP. When you are ramming, make sure you use the front of your tank where you have the toughest and thickest armor and try to ram the sides or better the back of an enemy tank because the sides and the back are the most vulnerable the back is the most vulnerable try to get up a good um, head, of head of steam get some speed going and uh, get in and do some damage on them uh, do not uh, ram straight on into an enemy because that means that he's you may do as much damage to yourself as you do to him um, but if you can ram him into the back or into the side it can often pay a lot of dividends and it can also get you an extra kill, if you, especially if you um, only have um, one, uh, one or two uh, shells to fire into him, and but he needs three to kill him. The actual ram can count as an extra shell. So there you go. That's all seven kills for me. Uh, what I was doing here beside him was hugging him, rocking back and forwards, making it very difficult for him to actually uh, get some shots into me and you saw the shot he did fire into me bounced that's called hugging and if you're in 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 a brawl with an enemy moving backwards and forwards rocking like that makes it very difficult for them to to kill to kill you or to get a hit on you now this is a very good tank very good tier one tank the auto loader auto loader is really good it's a good rate of fire uh, and is a good gun it's accurate and it does damage and the auto loader is really good when you get to know how to play it well. So take note of that and practice with it. Maybe go into a training room and practice with the auto loader. And remember, double tap the shell icon and you'll reload without wasting a shell. And also remember how many shells you have in the magazine. Watch the enemy HP, therefore if you estimate shell damage, you can reload using a double tap and get an extra kill. The cruiser tree is the next in line and there's a full guide on here, but there's no rush to get there. This is not a, a game where you rush to get up to tiers. This is a game where you should get good with the basic skills of the game, and then when you're ready, move up. So play 50 or 100 games in this tank. Get good, get to know the maps, etc. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. See you now. Bye-bye.